Hey everybody, and today I'm going to be looking at something in the same vein as my recent videos, but something a tiny bit different. Whereas I've been recently looking at episodes that never were, I'm going to look at Doctors who never were. So these are people who were either cast and had very limited runs, or they are people who were in the running for the role and never got it in the end. In this video I'm going to talk about how they would have possibly done, and the rumours linking them to the role, no matter how big or small. So this video is going to be a little more informal as I'm working mainly off rumours and conjecture, but I'm going to have some very interesting names in here for you. The first and most obvious name to bring up is David Burton, who in 1991 claimed that he had the role of the next Doctor. This was paraded around in newspapers and Doctor magazine even in 1991, and until 2013 we had no idea if this was true or not. But after being interviewed for the Inferno DVD, David Burton himself had revealed that he in fact had filmed two episodes of a brand new version of the show, where the TARDIS would now be a red phone box of blacked out windows, as opposed to the original. Other than that, there is very little to go off, it's never really been confirmed by the BBC, it's never been, it's never been given any official set photography, there's one photo from the DVD which I'll try and put in this video now. From what I gather, David Burton was more of a comedic actor, so maybe we're going to get someone a bit more like the early Seventh Doctor era, um, Patrick Charlton era. Either way, this is a very intriguing bit of history that has only just become confirmed to us. Thought I'd add that in very quickly. The second person I wanted to include was offered the role all the way back in 1965 or 66, when they were talking about replacing the first Doctor, and this actor was a very well-known actor called Brian Blessed. Now, he of course later appeared in Trial of the Time Lord as King Yakaros, is it? Y King Yakaros, and he unfortunately was unable to play the second Doctor due to scheduling conflicts. But can you imagine how wild that would have been, that booming voice as the Doctor? An actor who was consistently considered for the role of the Doctor by the BBC officers was actor Richard Griffiths. He known as his role as Vernon Dursley in Harry Potter. He was also known in his early life for a lot of stage work. This would have been a more theatrical option for the Doctor, obviously, maybe a more expressive version of the role. He was offered the role twice, in fact. He was offered it in 1981 to replace the fourth Doctor, and he was offered it in 1989 to replace Sylvester McCoy had the show gone on. Again, the latter is only a rumour, as we had no concrete evidence of anybody wanting to take on the next Doctor role at that point. And to quickly mention, obviously, Paul McGann, who I would get killed for not mentioning because he got such a short reign as the Doctor. But I thought, because he's technically part of the canonical Doctors, it doesn't really count. But to briefly say, he was in the TV movie in 1996 and in 2013's Night of the Doctor. And you can go and listen to him in a lot of audio adventures and read about him in comic books and the Eighth Doctor adventure novels. Now with that out of the way, the next most famous Doctor who never was, was probably Richard E. Grant, who appeared once again, twice in Doctor Who, but one was a one-off Children Need special, The Curse of Fatal Death in 1999, where he played one of the many incarnations of the Doctor. The other, and more seriously considered time that he played the Doctor was for the Scream of Schalke animated story. Now this is personally a Doctor I would have loved to have seen on screen, as he had a lot of darker elements, he looked like a 90s Doctor, you know, that's exactly what I'd have loved to have seen if we got the show in the 1990s. And out of all the people I've mentioned so far, this is probably the most promising one to me, and the most tangible. Amongst other names that are very loosely based to the role, who only got through the audition stage, Rick Mayall of uh, Bottom and Young Ones fame was auditioned for the Doctor Who TV movie in 1996. We can assume it would have been auditioned a couple of years earlier. But yes, uh, that would have been a very interesting take, and I would have definitely have loved to have seen it. He's got a very overworldly quality about him. Now, a very interesting one to anybody who is concerned, uh, confused about Jodie Whittaker being the first female Doctor, and people will tell you that this has been considered for many, many years. Sidney Newman, in 1989, the original creator of Doctor Who, pitched to BBC either doing Dawn French or Joanna Lumley as the seventh Doctor. Now, unfortunately, the BBC um, said flat out no on that, 
they were not interested at the time in having a female doctor. How times change, right? Well, I think these would have been brilliant choices. If you're going to go in that direction, Joanna Lumley would be brilliant, I think. Joanna Lumley would have been brilliant. It's also key to note that Joanna Lumley was obviously also in The Curse of Fatal Death in 1999. Very interesting look into that, that special. I do wonder if they looked into the actors who had been talked about for the role before and then just threw them on screen for the joke of it because Rowan Atkinson had also been considered, as had Hugh Grant, who was auditioned for the TV movie as well. Now, I thought I'd end this with one that I thought had a lot of legs to it when researching this video, but apparently not. Ever since I was very young, I'd always heard the rumours that David Bowie had been offered the role of the Doctor, but I've not been able to find any evidence of this whatsoever. One would assume it would have been in the 80s if it were the case, but there is literally no evidence out there to support this. There is, however, evidence that he was offered the role of Jack in The Caves of Androzani. So maybe that's where people get confused, I'm not so sure. But either way, that would have been massive in terms of the show's popularity. Can you imagine if they could have landed him? When you get to the modern series, it's harder to find anybody who's been considered because they keep that stuff under wraps nowadays. But it is revealed that for the 11th Doctor, they considered Russell Tovey from being human, Sherlock, and many other things, including being Alonzo in the 10th Doctor's era, with Ben Daniels being considered for the role of the 12th Doctor, had Peter Capaldi not wanted it. I guess the point of this video is that with a role so iconic that can change so much, a lot of actors are going to want to have it, and clearly a lot of big actors either missed the boat or were missed by the production team at times and they really could have helped the show. And I just think that's really interesting. I know it's not a missing episode or it's not an episode that couldn't have been made, but it's definitely interesting. And I would certainly like to do more videos like this in the future, perhaps a sequel video when more information comes out about the modern era of Doctor Who. But yeah. Stay subscribed and stay tuned for the next episode.